Hello everyone. This video is about how can you change the location of OST file in Outlook. Microsoft's Outlook is among the top applications and multi-user software that companies, irrespective of size and nature, use for interacting via emails, managing tasks, calendaring, etc. But with multiple pros, there are also some issues while using it. One issue expressed by many Outlook users is too much storage getting used. No need to worry, let's help you implement them DIY in easy practical ways in the next couple of seconds. Technique 1, add a new force OST path registry entry. To start, click the Windows plus or key. Doing so will open a box, where type and re-get it. Once you click on OK, another dialog box will open, where the Yes option needs to be selected. Now, the registry editor box will be visible. Here, click on H key current user. The next thing you need to do is opt for the software option listed left side on your screen. Once you click on software, it will expand, and a couple of options afterward, Microsoft, can be seen. Click on it. Then go to the office, followed by 16.0 folder, and then Outlook. The second option may vary depending on the version of Outlook you are using. Once the Outlook option is selected on the right side of the screen, file name, its type, and data can be seen. Now, at the top left side of the screen, by clicking on Edit, go to the New, and select Expandable String Value, you will get the power to create a new string. To make that string do the job you want it to do, rename it to Force OST Path which will be its value name. The consecutive step is to type in the value data, or the location where the OST file needs to be relocated. In this case, the location mentioned is in D drive, but can be different in your case. Just to make it easy and clear to understand, this location has been set. After entering the location, press OK, and open Outlook after closing the application to make the updated location active at the server. Technique 2, Rename the OST file. Open Outlook by pressing the Windows button and typing Outlook in the search box. Once you click on it, the application will open. That's when you need to click on the file option highlighted at the top left screen. Now, you need to press Account Settings. Further click on the Account Settings option. Doing that, a new window will get opened, where the Data Files tab needs to be selected. Now, let's go to the file location that needs to be renamed by clicking on Open File Location. Clicking on it, a new window gets opened, where the OST files location becomes known. If you right-click on it and choose the last option, Properties, the type of file, size it is taking on disk and other details can be known. To rename the OST file, by right-clicking on the file, opt the second last option, Rename. After renaming it, the process may take in between 10 to 60 minutes. The time varies depending on your mailbox's size. If you require to change the location of OST file due to its heaviness and chances of corruption, then you can use Kernel's OST to PST converter tool to recover the items and divide them into multiple PST files. It will divide the data logically and it will remain accessible for usage too. You can find out more feature of software by visiting given link on your screen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.